Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and I am here with my fourth layout using the November Hip Kit, and I'm doing a Christmas one, and um, I was very excited to do a Christmas one. I had gone into this kit thinking I wasn't going to do any Christmas layouts or anything like that, I was going to wait, but um, I couldn't help it, <laughs> I couldn't resist, this stuff is so dang cute. So um, I'm going to scrapbook about our elf Jake that has been, this is our third year that he has come to hang out with us. So um, I snapped his picture one, one day and I'm going to go ahead and make a layout about him. So I'm going through my stuff. I went through the stuff that I have sitting in my December daily. I kind of keep it all together in the box in my December daily. So um, I'm just pulling out what I want to use on this layout here and keeping everything else with it with my December daily. I hope that made sense. <laughs> it did to me. Um, so I'm just kind of going through and trying to see what I want to use here. Um, pulling out some extra stuff and um, papers and things like that from the kit. So this page was made using a challenge. Um, on the Facebook group, uh, there, the forum for Hip Kit is on Facebook. So um, every weekend they've been doing weekend challenges, which has been a lot of fun. So this one was, uh, they posted a layout by one of the design team members and said use this as inspiration for a layout and uh, submit it for a chance to win a $10 gift card to the shop. So I'm doing it. <laughs> um, I love that paper, that North Pole paper, and I had intended to use it in my December daily. However, I was like, I don't want to cut this up. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to cut it into pieces. I want it to be whole. Um, I am covering up the middle of it, obviously, but you can see stuff around it, and oh my gosh, it's the cutest thing ever. So um, I'm using it as a full 12 by 12, and I'm going to do all my stuff kind of in the middle. So you can see... Um, like a little map around and oh, it's so cute guys. It's, I want like 15 of those seriously. Um, and that is by, that paper is by Pebbles by the way, the North Pole one. And then the gray and uh, white polka dot paper is by Ellie Studio. Dots and hearts, super cute. Um, so I'm going to use these thickers, they're candy cane thickers, they came in the kit and I'm going to use these Ellie Studio gray thickers or sticker, letter stickers, sorry. Um, those also came in the kit, and I'm going to um, write out our elf, our elf Jake <laughs> for my title. <laughs> um, and I used a whole bunch of die cuts around um, the top right and the bottom left of the cluster there, and those are all from Ellie Studio. Some are from a die cut pack, and some are from a cut apart piece of paper from the kit. So um, I'm kind of going through my stuff on my desk to see uh, what else I want to use. On here I'm going to use that little wood veneer piece. These are all for stuff from my freckled fawn kit. For my freckled fawn kits. Sorry. <laughs> That's plural. Um, I recently went through everything and started, um, oh, Layla handed me her juice. <laughs> so I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? So I just stuck it on my desk. <laughs> she came over and was like, here, mom. Um, so I'm getting everything stuck down here, so while I'm doing that, I'll talk a little bit. But um, I had taken, gone through a whole bunch of my Freckled Fawn monthly embellishment kits and pulled out quite a few things that are very um, neutral and can go on pretty much anything. So I have, I'm keeping a little tin on my desk and trying to go through that stuff quite often just to get some packages used up. Um, on the Nicole Jones 911 Facebook group, we did a month where... Um, I think it was November actually, or maybe it was October, October or November, where the the challenge was to uh, use up 10 die cut packages or 10 packages of embellishments. And ever since then I've been trying to keep things on my desk more regularly that I reach for on a regular basis. So almost every layout I'm reaching for that tin just to see what I can use up and uh, just trying to get through some packages and stuff, especially from my Freckled Fawn kits because I have so many of them and they all have just tons of embellishment packages, you know, um, which are great to have, but I have a lot, so I'm just trying to work my way through some of them now. And it's been, it's been going really well. I've been doing that. Okay, so I'm starting to get some stuff to, stuck down, sorry. Uh, that little love wood veneer that I put on the bottom of the picture, that's from Ellie Studio, and that came in the November hit kit as well. And here I'm going to use a couple things. Um, I'm using this little sticker that has a, a geotag says here. 
and I put that on the treasured die cut. Uh, that's from Freckle Fun. Um, put a little red arrow. I think that's all I use from that sticker sheet there. And I'm just going to kind of put my clusters together. These are all from LA Studio from a die cut package here. So I'm going to get all those sucked down. And I use some Prima Chalk ink around all of the elements just to kind of help bring them together. And especially with all the red that I have up there in the right-hand corner, um, I needed them to kind of stand out a little bit on their own besides just being all stuck together and looking like a big red blob. So um, I used some Prima Chalk ink, and the color I used was Tin Can. It's a nice gray. It's not um, a super... Um, I'm referencing the, the layout <laughs> to make sure I'm on track for what I'm... Um, you know, using inspiration and stuff. And I'm taking a look, another look at it because I'm trying to decide how I'm going to do my journaling. So looking at the layout helped me um, decide how to do my journaling, and I love it. Uh, so I'm going to use some tags from my stash at, for to hold my journaling. And um, I'm going to do something I haven't done very often, and I'm going to layer them all together, and I'm going to do my journaling across all three tags instead of uh, just one, you know, doing journaling on one tag and that's it. So you kind of see how I do it here. But I'm going to layer them all together after I ink them up. And I'm going to use some gray twine, gray, no, gray and white twine um, on all of them as well. And that is from, uh, someone sent me that tag full of twine. Um, a while ago, we had done a uh, little washi tape swap on Studio Calico, and uh, so we signed up and traded washi tapes, and we wrapped them around tags like that, and someone who sent me some washi tape sent me some twine as well, and that was really sweet, so I'm trying to use some of that up here. So I just used a big, uh, a larger white shipping tag. This is a red one from Studio Calico, and then I have a red and white, kind of like, looks like a candy cane stripe. Um, that came in a, a box of Christmas tags that I got, um, I think at Target, actually, a while ago. Uh, they're supposed to be kind of like gift tag type things, but I use them on my pages. And I'm using all of those in my December Daily as well. That's what I use to do my journaling, or my uh, numbers, sorry, for December Daily. So I'm using one here as well. I had a big pack of them. So I'm going to layer all three of these together. And stick them down and I'm going to do my journaling along all three tags and I decided to do that after looking back at the layout because uh, the, the inspiration layout had a bunch of tags on it so I liked that. I'm going to use this little epoxy sticker from Freckled Fawn, pardon my head. <laughs> it says details and then I'm just going to journal about um, how Jake has been here for our third year and the girls love him. They talk to him. They tell him what they want for Christmas. They blow kisses to him when we're leaving the house. Um, they say goodnight to him at night. It's so sweet. And even during the year, Kaylin will randomly say, I miss Jake. I hope he comes back this Christmas. It's so sweet. And um, I said this in my December Daily video as well, but he was named Jake because when we got him, Kaylin was really into Jake and the Neverland Pirates at that time. And since... Um, our elf was a boy. She decided to name him Jake. So I'm going to use some of these pearls. They are pearls. <laughs> um, so they're kind of like enamel dots, but they're more dimensional, and you know they're um, they're not clear or epoxy or anything. They look like pearls. Uh, those are from one of my freckled fun kits. So I'm going to use up all these blue ones here. I'm putting more up in this um, upper left-hand corner because the only thing I have up there is that little arrow. So I'm going to add a little bit more detail up there. And that is going to complete my layout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you would like to go check out the hip kit, please do so. They are amazing. I'm loving every single one of my kits. Um, oh, I'm adding some quick dry adhesive to those knots so that they don't come undone in my scrapbook pages. <laughs> And um, if you want to check out the hip kit, uh, click the link in the description of the video. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.